first time I had one of these Checkers hot apple pies. Oh, it's light and fluffy, a little crunchy, a little cinnamon on it. They're really good. The manager at Checkers hooked me up. I guess he never forgot the night he locked himself out of his car and I got him in. So, thank you! It's funny, earlier I said, you know, I want some cookies while I was at the house. And I come across a whole damn case of these vanilla cream cookie bars. At first I thought they were, you know, vanilla cream sandwiches, so. As I'm out tonight, I'll just pass them around to the people who are out here hungry. Yeah, I also found a bunch of these. Lipton unsweetened tea makes like 30 quarts. So, I'm just going to donate all this stuff right here to this shelter here on Kensington Ave. Because it's easier just to donate it, you know, instead of sitting there handing it out. At Wawa. And this man walked by and smelled like fresh urinal cakes and hot, wet, fat monkey fart. Oh, I mean, trust me, it was impressive. Wherever he went in the store, people moved. Rainbow unicorn ice cream bars are not the answer. Never look to that for the answer. It's like somebody took... Fruit Loops and blended it up, added a pound of sugar and slapped some graham crackers on it. Uh uh! Uh uh! And cat Morton has another cat trapped in that box. And he's been keeping him in there for at least 20 minutes. He's being a total douchebag. <laughs> another cat cannot get out of that box. Yeah, I'm trying to video you. This is the guy Martin had trapped. Wow, you're just like all up in the camera, aren't you? Had trapped. He's just a kitten. This is Zeke or little boy or Goliath. He doesn't really have a name. Have any of you guys ever waken up with a, just a ridiculous song in your head? I have. It's broccoli and it's bitch. It's broccoli and it's bitch. One is broccoli, the other is bitch. Why? Why would you just have that in your mind as soon as you pop your eyes open? There's got to be a psychological term. Here we go, guys. Just a warning for tomorrow morning. Uh, the roads are very slippery. This is a wet snow. And um, I think we're probably going to get at least three inches. Just, just judging from the, the rate of the fall. But be careful. Here's absolutely ridiculous. Look at all these McDonald's orders. There's over like 20 of them. All right? Of course the ones we're here to pick up aren't ready yet. Well, this food's just going to go bad. That's a damn shame. So the girl came out and she's like, these orders have been sitting here a while. Anybody want to take some home? I'm like, Fat Man don't turn down no free McDonald's. Yeah! So she gave me like three orders. So, there's that. Wonderful. A few days ago, a homeless man who lives in a tent asked me to get him a mattress. So I asked the Lord, you know, Help me find a mattress. And tonight during the snowstorm, I got a perfectly great mattress, better than mine, and it's wrapped in plastic. Imagine that? So I'm going to deliver it to him. All right, it's pretty deserted out here right now, so I'm going to head home before the morning traffic starts up because this place is going to become a crash derby once the uh, unexperienced drivers get on the road. I'm not going to be part of that. Uh -uh. So I'm going to go deliver this bed to that guy and go home. Here, look. I got you a bed and I got you a friggin' Take McDonald's. That. That. What's this? That. You got a gift for me? Yep. <laughs> All right. What you got? Oh, meat. Cool. All right, we'll drop your bed off. 
Well, we'll get him off that cold, hard ground and some food in his stomach. So, whole new term for breakfast in bed, right? I guess he wasn't expecting that during a snowstorm. He gave me a gift that was cool. So I'm getting in the house before the uh, crash derby shit starts. See you guys more. More. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. I can friggin' moonwalk. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. No thanks. Time to go in.